Hello, my name is Ty Donnelly. I'm a general contractor. And I'd like to uh, offer my solution to rebuild Hawaii together. My slogan for this is rebuild together. That is the main part of my solution. First part is to have the state government pause all property tax for the people that lost their home and people that lost their businesses. You know, we don't want these people to leave. So you got to help the people that lost their businesses, even if their home's okay. So the first part, you pause property taxes. And then the second part is you have the community leaders meet with someone like me, an architect, builder, and uh, someone that could do things really quick on the spot. Uh, I design everything. I've, you know, I could do this very fast. But you come up with four or five floor plans that people can choose and say, this is the one I want. Um, you have the federal government step in and they provide a gate around each property and a FEMA home. You need, or a tent, you know, some kind of personal home tent that people can stay on their property if they need to um, and at least be where, where it is. And um, so that'd be the first part, a tent and a porta potty, a fence, a porta potty, and a tent for someone to stay on that property and the services to, uh, to handle that. The government, federal government also needs to pay for all the demolition and cleaning and scrapping each lot and the streets, having it ready. So you take each plan, you have someone like myself or, you know, create a complete materials package. And, um, that's dropped off at each house inside the, the gating. And then you organize free labor. So Maui's a great place. You know, I can, or a lot of people want to help. A lot of people have been to Maui, they don't know how to help. So the best way to help is you have a, you organ, have someone like me or a team of people organize volunteer labor. So the volunteer labor will be required to work five hours a day for two weeks. Uh, so 50 hours over two weeks, and then they get a free flight out there and you know they i think a lot of people want to do that so where they have to stay you have to provide tents somewhere up above lahaina luna or above each development so they don't need rental cars they're on the site and it can be enjoyable people can have common areas and you know remember this meet with the local people people are going to have a lot of questions as their homes are about to be built when they're being built you have someone like me team of people like me run it all and um, so now you have free labor coming over, two weeks. If you want to stay longer, fine. You put in your work, I'll sign it off. Stay another two weeks. I mean, it's a lot of fun to do there. And then you're bringing life back into the community too, money being spent while these people are there. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm totally nonprofit. I would volunteer all of my time. And now you have plans, you have lumber on site, you have tents, you have volunteer workers, and then you need other more tents for residents so that when your house is getting ready to be built, or if you just need to be there, your family has a tent to stay on up above the area where a community can be together. You know, you're cooking together, you're talking story, you're playing music together while your home's being built. You know, hey, oh, Marvin, your home's getting built tomorrow. We'll all be there. I'll bring in my brothers, everyone. We're all going to come help you. And then these homes get built really quick. And in the end, they're going to have places that they all help each other build. And they're going to appreciate a lot more. You know, that's, that's the way to rebuild together that is my my plan um i'm from san diego california i'm out here in florida working on a property for a, a client you know I, I have a lot of experience doing this my entire life i'd say my best skill is finding solutions and so i haven't heard anyone with a real solution that i would say yeah I'll, I'll bite that that works so this this is a way to go um an important thing is to have is these people are going to want to customize their home. So now when the labor's there, as their home's getting ready, they have ideas. They say, hey, I want a granny flat out back. I want to change my, I want to pop out the back room. Now all you have to do is get a GoFundMe. Whatever you need, I'll draw it up. That's what we need. We'll do, make a video. You do, tell your case. You do a GoFundMe and people will help. I think that'd be real successful. An important thing to have is inspectors on site every day bring them in we need a lot of inspectors so now you want to make that change i we meet we review it i draw it up they stamp it right on the spot i bring the people over people are working for free we only want to make it as nice as can be i don't you know that's the only goal so it, it could make people that i work with any happier than to 
build you a, your dream home rather than just, hey, here's the box. It's not about that. It's about rebuilding together. Rebuild together. That is the only, that is the solution. That is my entire solution is to rebuild together. And so you have a proof set of plans that the people are proud of. It doesn't look like what they used to look before. Look how more Hawaiian. Um, you have a gated property, you have tents, you have porta potty, the land is cleared, and you have a load of material from the cement to the finished nails. Everything included on your property, delivered, bagged up, you know, covered, tarped. You have labor that's able to come, place to stay. You have residents that are able to go back there and stay temporarily or say that you're going to be building your house, they can come when it's time to build, you know but there's an option for people to stay and not leave. You pause all property taxes. You give food cards. You need to have food supplied this by the federal government so these people can eat. Now the insurance checks they get, hopefully they can use that to live on so they can survive and not leave. How are you gonna survive there if you have a check to real, that isn't enough to rebuild your house? It's just, that's not a solution, so give them food and then they could use their insurance payments or you know you gotta you gotta provide people a way to survive so that's the federal government five billion bucks you give me that budget i can take care of all this and give the rest to the people uh for park development I mean, there'll be so much left over if you have someone like myself run that budget okay it's it, the budget needs to be a complete open book every dollar spent needs to be accounted for and easily opened up you have a file where anyone can go on and website and see this is what the money was spent. We spent that much money on him. And then it's all open and honest. If anyone comes out there to volunteer and they don't work, you have to have a sign off to get that written off on your taxes at the end of the year. You're not gonna be staying in the tents if you're not working. You can, five hours a day, that's not too much. And you can go and enjoy Hawaii. I think that's a, a great selling point. And it's an opportunity for people like myself who grew up there, went to high school there in Maui High and people that have live there for a long time to actually help out and give back and quit ostracizing people like Oprah and The Rock for trying to help. They don't, th th this isn't their responsibility. They can't take this over. You can't expect that. It's not realistic. But what they can do is they can help furnishing. Oprah can easily say, hey, I'll give you all new furnishings. The Rock, he can outdoor barbecues, something. These people want to help. You utilize people where their expertise is and I think uh, this is my plan to do it. So, um, again, my name is Ty Donnelly, licensed general contractor, Intervision Builders. You know, I built some of the finest custom homes. I put my catalog of work up against anybody. I mean, I'm, I've been doing this my entire life. Um, I love Maui, but uh, I, I think it's, it's important for me to give my solution because I haven't heard a real solution that I would approve of. So, there it is. You know, let me know what you think. Aloha.